Every coffee needs a lotus. All right, so welcome back to the afternoon session or the first, uh, the second part of the session this afternoon on VUCA. Right now we have one question at the Q&A box. We'd like to encourage you to type in more of your questions. But in the meantime, again, like what I mentioned, that's been an hour and a half of free learning given to you generously by people who care. And, and think of you so that during this time of pandemic, which happened, which happening globally, we continue to evolve, we continue to learn, we continue to advance. What we're seeing now is the HR Virtual Summit PH 2020. This is our project. Uh, Sir J. Emotien, so our CEO, and Ms. Irish Molanda, our president, talked about it on how can we give to the community? How can we give back? And this how we thought of it. We thank the participants. We thank the speakers for, for saying yes to this project. Because this is meant not only to give to you. It's also meant to give to the people who are the poorest of the poor. Our Filipino brethren. We happen to be in Bayan ng Mahaihai in Laguna. Very small town, sleepy town. And... What we're asking you is not to give back to Ariba, but to pay it forward. So that whatever you will be donating, whether it's 100 pesos or 200 pesos, any amount that you'll be donating, 100% of the proceeds will go to the Bayanihan Act 2020. And because of that, we look forward to not only building the Filipino professionals, you, our participants via LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, of course, Zoom and Facebook Live. We also look forward to you touching the lives of the people who never thought that people like you actually care for the poorest of the poor. So we're looking forward to, to you being a hero and acting on a particular well, pandemic that has been set before us. So for the Q&A, Zoom participants, type in your question at the Q&A box. If uh, you and then would like to encourage you to do a Zoom live question, click the raise button so that you will notify our admin, see Sir Jeff, our, in, our technical person and our engineer. And if you're a Facebook live viewers, our president, Ms. Irish, is monitoring your questions. And they'll throw it to me so I can read them all. And as you type in your question, we would like to greet our out-of-town participants. So 
Maraming salamat po. Alaminos, Pangasinan. Apalit, Pampanga. Bacolor, Pampanga. Bacoor City, Cavite. Baga Bataan. Baguio City. Batanga City. Binalbagan Negros Occidental. Cagayan de Oro City. Capastarlac. Cebu City. Davao City. Digos City, Davao del Sur. Dumaguete City. Iloilo City. La Trinidad Benguet. La Union. Laguna. La Pulapu City, Cebu. Legaspi City. Lubao, Pampanga. Quezon Province. Rizal Province, San Fernando, La Union, San Juan, La Union, Siquijor, Tabaco City, Tugigaraw City, and Urdaneta City, Pangasinan. Thank you so much for supporting uh, this Zoom broadcast of our free webinar. And thank you for attending from and letting us in into your living rooms and participating in our workshop, online workshop. So for the first question I'll be asking, this has been present yesterday from Alfred Balaga. How can data help us in this VUCA environment, Sir Ricky? Okay. Uh, can, am I being heard? I just wanted to make sure first. Yes, sir. Yes, am sir. I being we heard? can hear you, sir. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll... I'm not sure if uh, the one who was asking the, the clarification joined the uh, webinar that we also had last April 29. Beyond SWOT. Uh, Beyond SWOT, wherein I shared there also a model I have designed, the six-step model mm -hmm. for a recovery of uh, departments and companies moving forward. Now, uh, that six-step model uh, or phases. One of the phases there was what we call the analytics. And I'm answering this because analytics is about the data. Now, what I was uh, mentioning, I'm going to now put together, and I feel this is also important because uh, for you to appreciate it. Uh, the data is a standalone. Like, uh, I have one person attending, that's a data. Uh, the important thing to remember now is this, okay? You're gonna have different kinds of data available. You've got data that are, I would call it uh, financial data, and you have data that I would call it would be more of uh, activation data. Between the two, I'd rather, moving forward, you know, I'd like to spend more time to understand the activation data. Mm -hmm. Activation data has, got to do with the kind of touch points that your market uh, has with you uh, moving forward. Okay? Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned, if we just take a look at data per se, there's just so many data out there, eh, you know, uh, and it can confuse you. What is important is to remember there was the pre-pandemic, mm -hmm. during the pandemic, and post-pandemic. I, this is my own personal opinion. Moving forward, I'd like to spend more time on the, not the pre-pandemic, because that's history. I'd rather spend more on data of during the pandemic, okay? because that's going to help me in preparing moving forward. Okay, So there's got to be that focus now on who is gathering data? Oh, by the way, uh, data and information is different. I can give you data, but unless I put it together, it becomes statistics. And unless I put meaning into statistics, there is no information. So that's the thought process there. Let us spend more time now to gather data during the pandemic in relation to uh, I call it activation. Okay. Then we need to put it together so that there is statistics, and that is missing in a lot. They don't put it together, so no statistics, no meaning. And then we need to put meaning into it 
interpret it, then it becomes information. So let us be selective okay. with the data. Financial data for me is there, but it's historical. I'd rather concentrate on activation data. Okay. That's my that's my response with the question of how can we use data in a VOCA environment? Be selective, concentrate on the activation data that you have right now. Uh but you have to put it together so it becomes statistics and then put meaning into it so it becomes information. Yes, thank you. Thank you, sir, Ricky. Annabel Pagala, what is the leadership style that is most effective this time of the new normal? Okay, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna answer that, my good friends, very candidly. Uh, and in my own opinion, okay. there, ha there are a lot of leadership styles and there are a lot of uh, my friends also who are consultants and coaches who have been talking about the different leadership styles. And I really appreciate that. I mean, uh, you know, this this situation that we have right now has really gotten a lot of us in the consulting and coaching to really come in and share. And I, I really love it. We are enriching the psychic of Filipinos and everybody out there. Uh, the most uh, in this kind of a situation, I, I have to be pragmatic. Why? Okay. Uh, pragmatic means to say, I can take a look at the different leadership styles available out there. But then I also have to ask myself the question. When I turn around and I take a look at my team, what kind of team do I have? Okay, another one. I need to also find out when I take a look at the rest of my management team, what kind of management team do I have? Mm -hmm. okay. Because the way I see it, styles, there's so many out there, but choosing the appropriate that's why when people ask me, what is the right, what is the best, I cannot answer because it's dependent. Styles are like models. This is the model that you can use. This is the model that you can use. It is dependent on to whom are you going to apply it? What kind of, uh, what kind of business are you into? And this is even more critical. Where does the owner of your business want to bring the organization? Uh, and uh, if you if you therefore uh, relate to where I'm coming from, hindi madaling sagutin yung tanong na ano pinakamaganda. Kasi I have to be pragmatic. Depende yan sa maraming variables. Pero para sa akin, ang pinakamaganda is you continue to add knowledge to yourself to know the different styles of leadership. Okay? There, at least you owe it to know the different kinds of leadership. And then based on that one, you got to, and that's a that's another risk because I, I know some people would come back and say, well, the speaker was telling me this is a leadership style, dynamic ko hindi nag work. My good friends, you just don't get a leadership style and, and apply it. You, you're going to take risk decisions on that one. But again, I'd like to make it clear, I would not like to answer what is the best because I don't know the situations of each company. That's why when we ask, when I'm asked, sir, what is the approach? What is the business? Where does it want to go? What is the culture of the organization? What is the climate? Okay, sinin gusto mo kausapin? Ah, okay. Sir, what did you do? Diagnostics. Okay. Based on the diagnostics, I now take a look at the different leadership styles, and then I choose the one that is appropriate. I cannot say what is right, because until I implement it, how can I say it's right? Appropriate. But uh, one of the thing, one of the leadership styles that I appreciate is the one that was also shared, not because he is my moderator now, young selfless leadership. <laughs> because at the end of the day, I feel that is one of the more interesting. But I mean leadership styles, please. Okay, I don't want to be boxed in, but uh, you got to understand there are different styles for different situations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sir Ricky, for being unbiased in answering that question. We, and, and thank you for being yeah. truthful. It's, it's really a it's it's really a 
complex situation to advise just one leadership style. Now, um, right. there, yes, sir. yeah, I just like to mention also because the question is advice. Eh? If mm -hmm. the question is of the many, what do you think? I would yes. answer it as a consultant. Sure. Uh, there's a difference, huh? When I'm being asked, I, before I answer, I say, do you want me to think like a consultant? Mm -hmm. Pag being yes, I'll give you all the different options. But right. pag sinabi lang, no, sir, advice ito. Eh. And then you want mm -hmm. me to think like an advisor, hindi madaling sagutin yung tanong. Magda-diagnostic mm -hmm. tayo. So there's a difference between the two. And the question kasi, what is my advice? Eh? So I put in my advisory cap. I could not answer it right away. But I have enlightened, I hope, the person on what to look at. Thank you so much, Sir Ricky. And thank you for wearing, for wearing many hats. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> right. Professor, to, consultant, advisor, coach, mentor, academician, pragmatic leader, and all. Yeah. Orthodox. So, sir, um, uh, I guess, yeah. Hannah Poras asks a question, an anonymous attendee. Pag-isahin ko na lang to, ha? Sabi ni Hannah Poras, how can I introduce Buka to my team and boss? Relevant to sa anonymous attendee question, and how do you encourage leaders or bosses to shift their mindsets to fit Buka situations? Firstly, introducing Buka. Okay. And secondly, in encouraging leaders to shift their mindsets. Oh. Okay. Uh... How do you very candid show? How do you introduce VOCA to your organization? Sure. Show them this, what, what's happening right now. Because I, as I understand it, this is going to be recorded. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, my mind, uh, again, uh, just to be clear to everyone, when we work in an organization and there's, and we tell people in other departments or the top management, you know, sir, we should look at it this way or you should look at it this way. Sometimes, because I've also been working with some companies before, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we're seen as my vested interest. Ah, yeah. okay. That's why for me, I always would use, yes, sir, I'd like, if you don't mind, since we have a you know, breakfast meeting, I'd mm -hmm. like to share a video of what I have heard. And mm -hmm. I, I, I sense that people in an organization or in any team will be more open to ideas from others. As long as, of course, ideas is worth considering, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you notice, in the way I presented, in the way I presented the VUCA this mm -hmm. afternoon, I was yes. very clear. Yeah. I just did not read about VUCA. I am espousing it. Mm -hmm. I read about it. I discuss it with other vocal leaders in many countries. I apply it. I have been using it with a number of our clients already. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not just nabasa ko eh. and, uh, it, and because of that, I felt that showing this is like, you know, introducing a new concept. You cannot yeah. argue and simply say, you know what, we've been doing it all wrongly. We mm -hmm. should do it this way. No, I, I brought it into a realization. And for me, that's a, a good way. And I hope that everybody would like to introduce VOCA uh, to use the, you know, the recording that we have as yeah. your jumping board okay, mm -hmm. on, on that side. Okay. Now, of course, it goes now to the next question. And uh, uh, how will just to, the next question, it tied up to that was- Encourage, okay, how, encourage leaders to shift their mindsets. Uh, Okay, now, if you can recall as well, uh, and thank you, I, I've noticed a number of also mentioning, when I explained the VUCA, I, I mentioned you can either take it as a whole, V-U-C-A, mm -hmm. or you can take it independent of each other. Mm -hmm. Now, I've also attended a number of uh, sessions uh, both here in the country and abroad about VUCA, it's very seldom that they explain it that it can be taken separately. Mm -hmm. It's more often than not, take it as a whole. And yeah. I, I guess that's where I'm also coming from. VUCA is four of the most challenging 
variables put together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, try to tell somebody, you know, we got to four things together. I I sense, as a behavioral psychologist, kasi I use the word sense. I sense, mm -hmm. you will have more apprehensions. Parang, ang naman yan without this. And it's easier, my good friends, to present it that way. Now, this is already, by the way, this is already consulting how well, huh? but uh, we'll answer it. This is the way I sense it. If you say buka right away, COVID-19, okay, you can show our tape. So people will, ah, okay, so that's what it means. But then if you say, sir, mangyayari ulit ito, they probably say, teka, ganyan ba ka complex, ganyan ba ang buka? Mm -hmm. I feel if you say, no, sir, uh, according to Professor De Vera then, to look at it. Volatility can, volatility can happen at any time. Oh, di ba may nangyaring ganyan sa ating uh, office? Oh, sure. sir, complexity, di ba? It can happen at any time also. Di ba, meron tayong ginawang decision na yung decision mm -hmm. na yan, ang daming tinamaan na hindi natin mm -hmm. naisip. So if you take a look at it, if you can follow where I'm coming from, I will, I will bring it down now towards the individuality of the buka. Kasi pagka sinabi kong volatility, it's easier to connect mm. it to what's happening to the office. Yeah, pag sinabi kong uncertainty, it's easier to connect it to an incident in the office. Then people will say, ah, ganun pala yon. So my approach is going to be twofold. One, use this video okay, mm. to get people to be open to what is a VUCA. And then right. express to them, based on also what we have shared, that it doesn't have to be VUCA all the time. It could be volatility, and it happened when volatility is certain, right? Or mom, right? Oh, okay, break it down. So that's the the facing I would be using, so that there is less resistance sure. in organizations in you know embracing the VUCA invention. Thank you, Sir Ricky. Yep. And on that note, we have two wonderful feedbacks from our participants via Facebook Live. Starting off with Dioscoro Jr. Garling. Agaring, Dioscoro Jr. Garing. Professor Ricky, thank you for sharing your wisdom and understanding from a common tao. Could we say it's attitude first, then skills to follow? In, in anticipation of VUCA, expect a lot of failure and rejection. It's your positive perspective that will predict results. Quoting the late Dr. Felipe Landa, Chok, uh, no? Kung anong pananaw ay siyang nakikita, kung anong nakikita ay siyang naramdaman, at kung anong naramdaman ay siyang isinasagawa. Simply said, how you think is how you believe, how you feel, and how you feel is how you act. Hoping and praying for you and for your guidance and direction. From Felipe Landa Ocano pala yun. Felipe Landa Ocano. Ayan, yung, yung Tagalog na ko. Thank you po. And Anne-Marie Ito, itong uh, limit natin ito, suki so natin ito, si Anne-Marie Poski. Today our world is fragile, but let's work together to preserve, enrich, and enlighten it. Hashtag positivity. Those are two beautiful, encouraging messages for you, sir. Yeah. Can I just uh, uh, respond to both of them uh, sure, sure, moving sir. forward as well? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, one is, uh, yes, the realization. Uh, there will be a tendency for a number of uh, organizations who would be talking really of skills, hard yes. skills. Mm -hmm. And I do not blame that because you'd like to have the action right away. Mm -hmm. But then when you reflect back onto it, okay, uh, and this one, I'd, I'd like to also, if you'll notice, even in my presentation today, I was mentioning, you know, if you read the book uh, from the Western world, this is what they're looking at. Mm -hmm. And then I would say, but I was thinking of the Philippines. And that's why I think is very important. We do not just, and even them, no, they do not just take anything and then apply. Okay? Mm -hmm. I, I, I listen to my Western counterparts, but I just don't apply it right away. Mm -hmm. I test it out. Okay? Okay. And, and this is where I'm coming from. Uh, the interesting thing about the Western uh, environment is they think before the feeling. Mm. Hey, the Filipino 
and that's why I wanted to find out because mm. I I also was uh, following before Dr. Hokano. That's why I'm not sure if this person asking is related from UP, who mm. was a sociologist, mm. and he was sharing. He has he has passed already, but mm. you know, and Dr. Hokano also has enriched me because he when in some of the sessions I was having before, and he's like mm. 20, 30 years my senior. Mm. I, don't know, I mean, he was saying the interesting thing about the Filipino, and what I noticed is true. Filipinos would tend to feel before think, feel before they think. And that's mm. why you could also, and for me, this is very important. That's why it is critical that mm. as we move forward, my good friends and everybody out there, mm. okay, let us not be blinded by the urgency to do something. Let us not be blinded okay? Okay. because uh, you might actually create much more uh, things that you should mm -hmm. have not done. Let us, let us instead, as Filipinos, this is, I'm, I'm probably talking to the 70 to 80 percent of Filipinos who are feelers. Mm, Let us yeah. first be able to relate to our emotions. Let us be able to relate to our feelings. Okay. And then based on that, then let's bring it up to that level of cognitive. I do a lot of the sharing. It's in mm. my FDs as well. I have motivational mm. posters. And motivational posters, most of my posters are not for the thinking, it's for the feeling. Mm, so the feeling. I appreciate the, those two individuals who also said that, that as we move forward, mm. uh, we got to be clear mm. there has to be a roadmap. And yes. I'd also make it that I'd like to say this it is not yet over, my good friends. It is still it's unfolding. Not... Okay. So if you're saying, ito na gagawin natin, ito na gagawin natin, mm. I'd like to probably word of caution. It mm. is still an unfolding story. Please do not make conclusions right away. But definitely, you will have to have what I would call initiatives. You know, mm. it would be interesting if later on, when, you know, we're into the GCQ and then moving forward, we can yeah. be featured again, and then maybe that's where we tell people now this is what we can do moving forward. Okay, so by, yeah. well, by yeah, the way, sir, th thank you for that answer, Sir Ricky Devera. By the way, the long appreciation post that I mentioned, Dios Coro Junior Garing, that was Sir June Garing. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> he's watching I you via Facebook is, Live. Oh, you want to I am honored, um, <laughs> Mr. John Garing. I am honored, Sir John because, Garing. Garing uh, I have also been a follower, oh. and definitely my 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 respect oh. to such a person, a humble person, John. Thank you. Uh, June you Garing. were there during the times also. Uh, thank you, Sir June Garing, for supporting this. Hindi pa kami, ako, hindi pa ako pinapanganak. Lid, liderat, I mean, influential na sa sales and marketing si Sir June Garing. Ganyan katinde. Foundation yan. Haligi pa. That's true. That's true. That's true. So, Sir uh, Ricky. And uh, also, I'd like to just mention. Right. I think there will be uh, those who will be, uh, you might be posting it, but yeah, mm. uh, it's still unfolding. It's mm. not yet over, mm. uh, but definitely you have to take initiatives. But it's it's interesting that we now become. I use the word pragmatic. Yes. Hindi mo pwedeng ito dahil ito para sa lahat. No, you're going back to the conventional. Eh. The conventional has always been, ito na gagawin natin, lahat tayo, ganito na. Yeah. Again, we, you're going back to conventional. You got to break down. For executives, this is what they will do. For managers, mm -hmm. this is what they'll do. For the rest, this is what they'll do. We still have to have that. We, sti we now have to create that kind of, for me, a mindset. Because the VOCA affects everybody in different ways. And of Thank course, my, I, I talk more about that. I, I've, I think I have two more. 
under our series for Arriva. How well? I think we'll yes. uh, we'll, uh, mention it later. I'll, One, I'll talk about uh, uh, yeah. inciting. That's very mm-hmm. interesting. I'm allowed yes. to Dami kong natututunan right. sa iyo sir Ricky always one, uh, always a pleasure discussing is uh counts I my god I you know what what's, what's interesting about uh people who are professionals they are humble enough to say I also learn from you and I also pick up ideas from you Howell and <laughs> thank Jordan, you sir my god I picked up also wisdom from June as well, and everybody as well. Oh, well everybody as well. Yeah, so yeah. my my second session after internalizing is going to be if I as a counselor, how you can do counseling mm. to your people. So I'm a behavioral psychologist. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited to share that this coming May. I, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, well, they will be announcing it. So I have still two more. Okay, how to counsel without being necessarily a counselor? <laughs> and yes, we want that. How to be able to yeah. Thank you. Thank you again. You know uh, what, Sariki? And, Two uh, hours happy, flew so uh, fast. Well, a lot of my friends. Oh. Viva! Two hours oh. flew so oh. fast. Why? Because of your, is, of your engagement say, I have a lot level. Of, a lot of new friends now in Facebook. We're having, we're, we're having an enriching exchange yes. of ideas. And mm-hmm. I feel that is our contribution to what is happening today. May so, sir. Uh, remember and put meaning into their um, thing. Yes, please. So, Sir Ricky, the last minute of our webinar is the yep. takeaway. Yep. Oh, well, uh, so, what's your yeah, nugget of wisdom? Away. I'm happy and... Uh, La- Any words of wisdom? Okay. Uh, you'd uh, like to leave our this is participants my, now? My, my takeaway to... The, to the viewers. Right. Uh, and uh, this is where I'd like to to mention, my good friends, uh, as we move forward, and definitely there is a moving forward, uh, we will need to reevaluate the way we, have, we do things. But to do that, we will need to reevaluate the way we think about things. But to do that, we will also need to reevaluate the way we feel about things. And uh, to be able to do that as well, we will have to reevaluate, for me, what is your philosophy in life? That's a different topic altogether. Uh, I've heard about purpose, but there's one thing that I feel should not be forgotten. I know I'm introducing something, but this is a takeaway. What is your philosophy? Well, and that is what has carried me through all these years, not beyond or if I, I, I appreciate the others. What is your, you know, what is your purpose? What is your projection? But then I want to ask, what's your philosophy? And that's critical because the philosophy is the one that will carry you through. That's, that's my take again. Thank uh, you, Sir Ricky. Different Thank perspective. What's your philosophy? There is no right or wrong. Thank you. Big hand for Sir Ricky De Vera, everyone. Yeah. Catch wow. it. I also post it in my FB. So, but it's philosophy for me. Hello. Sir, you're breaking up. Hello. Anyway, so thank you, Sir Ricky. And as Sir Ricky fades away from the screen, fades in Miss Irish Malonda. Yeah, Samsung. I'm not speaking anymore. I'm not speaking. Miss Irish Malonda Samson. Again, everyone, put your hands together for Sir Ricky De Vera. Clap, 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 Sir Howard. Hey, I love I'm what he's. Oh, you're back. Yeah. Grabe, you know, one and a half hours of general sharing of, of ideas and thoughts. And, and my, my mind has been stretched and I have been reframed all over again. So I'm go- I, know, I know you're going to ask me about my takeaway. <laughs> sure, sir. Go ahead. So I love the, his version of VUCA. Gusto ko yung sinabi niya, yung VUCA niya ni Sir Ricky, I versatility. You need to be unwavering. You need to con- con- contextualize. Context. And you need to be agile. Agility. 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 Galing, no? Grabe. At gusto ko yung sinabi niya ng huli. What's your philosophy? 
when everybody else is focused on purpose. What's your philosophy? philosophy? And it's so amazing that we have the same uh, takeaways. Madam Irish Malonda Samson. Well, indeed, I agree with you, Sir Howell. So that was um, indeed an enriching and a jump pack, shall we say, to, oh, to our course. session with Sir Ricky. Thank you so much for giving uh, this session uh, to us, Sir Ricky. And um, you, Sir Ricky. for my takeaway, well, just want to thank um, Sir Ricky for elucidating and deciphering a VUCA environment, a VUCA mm -hmm. landscape to our participants. And at the same time, giving um, a leader, the leadership competencies in sure. facing the VUCA environment. So with that, thank you so much, Sir Ricky. And looking forward to more e-learning sessions with you. Yes, may dalawa pa si Sir Ricky. Yes, thank you so yes, much, indeed. Sir Ricky. So, Ako rin yung magmamoderate. Watch out. Okay, and also, okay. Sir Howell, thank you so much Wait, for moderating our session yan, today. Isang magandang karangalan para sa ating maging bahagi nito. On Wednesday, you will be the one to... <laughs> oh, oh us. tatlo kami. Yes, forum. It will be a forum. So with that, sir, mm -hmm. I'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you so much, Sir Thank Howell. you, Ms. Irish. And thanks everyone who participated. Don't go away. Okay, for uh, this is not yet the end of our e-learning session. Before I thank our win-win um, partners, I would like to um, greet our participants from Federal Land, Flor de Luisa Agdigos, Gemily, Danica Gabon from Cavite, Elmer Santos, Alex Arellon from Jeddah, Dory Santos from Federal Land Inc., Ms. Amy Cordero, and of course, Mr. June Garing. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we would like to thank our partners, uh, our win-win partners. We would like to thank our official media partner, Art Plus Magazine, Digital Media Partners, Focus Media, Globaltronics, City Advertising Ventures. Thank you also to Outcom, Elevate Media, win-win partners. Thank you to Brother, Faber Castell, Gluta C, Moringa O2, KFC, Mr. Donut, Tokyo Tokyo, Lotus Biscoff, Boss Job. Thank you also to Sir Technology Inc., Finma Properties, Salary Jet, Ilawi Korea, Kitosun and Carpo Consulting, Enchanted Kingdom, This First, Cosmotech Philippines Inc. And if you want to place your ads here, advertise your logo, your services, your company, please email us at marketing at arriva.com.ph. Again, it's marketing at arriva.com.ph. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. It's Arriva Academy Philippines Inc. Please scan this QR code and this will be directed to our Facebook page. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Arriva Academy. And if you want to watch the replay of our e-learning sessions, Today and the previous e-learning sessions, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Arriva Academy and Arriva Talks. Again, it's Arriva Academy and Arriva Talks. For our upcoming online learning sessions, please register at, of course, we would like to invite you for our HR Virtual Summit PH 2020 Bounce Back HR. This is for our um, HR professionals, people managers, business owners. Please do, um, please do, Register and join us. We have invited international and local subject matter experts to share with us their wisdom in HR field. This will be on Wednesday. We would like to invite you and register leading productively in turbulent times. We have invited Ms. Sally Foley Lewis. Uh, she is a breakthrough speaker of the year 2020. This will be on Wednesday, May 6, 1030 to 1130. And of course, we will be having a forum. We would like to invite you, be more with less, how to stay positive, healthy, and productive during tough times. We have invited, of course, Mr. Howell Mabalot, Coach Randy Isguera, and Ms. Suzette Shapno to uh, uh, give us a session, a forum, this coming Wednesday, May 6, 3 to 4.30 p.m. So don't forget. On May 7, Thursday, we have invited Mr. Ronaldo Torla, Best practices on human resource planning during uncertain times. And we would like to invite you on another e-learning masterclass, online selling from home, how to use FBIG and LinkedIn for your business. 
we have invited Mr. Jonathan Nyabot, the Asia's Millennial Guru, to discuss this. May 7, don't forget, 4 to 6 p.m. On Friday, May 8, we have invited, of course, none other than Mr. Roger Condantes to give us a talk on Don't Waste a Good Crisis, How to Thrive, Not Just Survive During Global Pandemic, 3 to 4.30 p.m. On Monday, May 11, we would like to invite you. Um, we have invited Authority James Earl Chu. He will be discussing data privacy concerns during a pandemic, protecting your personal data in the time of COVID-19. Don't forget, May 11, 3 to 4.30 p.m. Another e-learning masterclass by um, Mr. Jonathan Yabut, leading a work-from-home workforce, how to manage and develop remote teams. This will be on Thursday, May 14, 4 to 6 p.m. Please do join us. And if you want to customize an e-learning session um, exclusive for your company, for your team, please reach me at 0916-695-4418 or you can email me at irish.arivaacademy at gmail.com. Okay, that's it. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you learned a lot. Please register. This will be on Wednesday, Leading Productively, productively in Turbulent Times. May 6th, we have invited Ms. Sally Foley-Lewis. Again, this is Irish Malondo of Arriva Academy. It's all about being better. Be safe and stay, stay home. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bye-bye.